Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I got some fabulous news. I made, like, two videos, maybe three videos, two, where I complained about my Clio Induce with the Clio having a giant smudge in her eye. And I updated you guys that Mattel was sending me a new set. I wasn't sure when that was going to happen because the tracking number they gave me did not work. I tried looking it up and it just did not exist. I checked FedEx, UPS, USPS. I even used a random, like, some website, like a universal parcel, parcel tracker thing, and it just said, hey, this tracking number isn't real. So I was like, okay, cool. But the package has arrived, so I wanted to show you guys that. I told you guys I'd keep you updated on the situation, and I always do. So... Let's, uh, let's take a look. Erica and Annalise are still sitting here. I don't know what to do with them. I, I just like them being here. All right, so here it is. Ignore Operetta. This is my new set from Mattel. You can tell because Cleo's eye does not have a giant smudge in it. It's pretty nice. Overall, this is pretty much perfect. I don't really see any major flaws with it. Um, so huge thanks to the customer service guy who helped me out on the phone. I actually tried to do it on the website, but there's this like code around the back of the box, like this thing right here that's engraved in it that you're supposed to put into the website. And when I did that, it just wasn't working. So I guess now I'm just kind of inspecting the box overall, because this is the set that I'm gonna keep in the box. Um, I'm planning to unbox my damaged one now and do a review, like a proper out of box review of them. I don't see Okay, in the corner down here, there's a little tear. That's like fine with me though. Like it's pretty minor, all things considered. So yeah, overall this set, I'm happy with it. Here is my other set for comparison. On the surface, they probably look the same, but Cleo of course has a giant smudge right in her eye there. <laughs> I felt really stupid for not noticing that. It's not like there's anything I could have done about it, because this set went out of stock on Amazon very fast. And if I complained to Amazon about it, they would have just told me to return it and they would just give me a refund and I would have lost the set. So I'm really glad that Mattel was able to give me a new set. So as I said, I'm going to unbox this one and this will be my out of box set. I know Cleo has a sponge in her eye and like that's the main issue but I still want an out-of-box set and I don't see the point in keeping the damage set in the box when I have a perfect one now so the perfect one will be my inbox set I will keep them in box like that and this one I will unbox you guys would not believe how many people ask me to sell this set to them I don't want to sell it I like them <laughs> I wanted to have this set out of the box like if Cleo didn't have that huge smudge in her eye I still would have kept her in the box because that was my plan. That was like the whole point of the review. But still, I might have decided later on to take them out of the box, you know? But then I noticed the smudge in her eye. So, um, <laughs> new set. I'm probably contradicting myself a lot. It's hard to explain my exact thought process because it's in my head and my head doesn't always make sense. But now that I have a perfect set to keep in the box, I can unbox this one and not feel guilty. Like, oh, I unboxed my only set. Because that's what it was. This was my only set, which is why I wanted to keep it in the box. But now that I have a second set without a smudge in her eye, and just in general, I feel safer. Well, not safer, but like better about unboxing one of the two. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So yeah, that's the final update on that. I'm really glad that Mattel was able to send me a new set. I was honestly surprised they had them in stock. Every other time I've complained to Mattel about a doll, either like coming with a scuffed screening, missing a piece, crushed box, you know, they've always told me, sorry, we don't have any replacements. So that's what I was expecting when it came to the Cree Productions. But then they said, oh yeah, we'll send you a replacement set. I was like, you have them? <laughs> like, I was surprised. Honestly, the only reason I knew that I might get that response. The only reason I thought that I might get it was because one of you guys commented on my video that you had bought the set and you got 
I think their stands were missing or something. I don't remember what that commenter's exact issue was, but they said that something was wrong with their set and Mattel sent them a new one. So when I heard that, I was like, is that really possible? Might I get a new set out of this? And I did. So um, yeah, pretty nice, all things considered. So all that's left to do now is to put this one away into storage because I don't currently have anywhere I can display it. Though I do also want to show you guys Out of Fright Operetta because I wanted to get her just because every time G they bring back a character in the G1 lineup, I want it. So I decided to get Operetta. I like this doll, though there are a couple things I find off about her. For one, the screening, it's totally wrong and doesn't look very Operetta at all. And I get it. In the 1950s, doing blue makeup, like just kind of out of nowhere, was a thing. But that doesn't mean this doll needed that. Like, it's a nice nod to the era that her fashion is inspired by. But I just don't think it looks good. They should have just given her, like, a smoky eye the way most operetta dolls usually have. And I'm really not exaggerating when I say most. Almost all of her dolls have very dark makeup. Okay, her basic doll has pretty light makeup, all things considered. But still, it's not blue, you know? Is that all the operettas I have? I can't find another one. This is actually kind of fucking with me. I thought I had more operettas. <laughs> I know I have Skultimate Roller Maze. Oh. Yeah, I've got Diner Operetta there with like kind of silvery makeup. Yeah, Skultimate Roller Maze is in the back and her makeup is kind of green, but that's her accent color, so that makes sense. I also have Dance Class, two Dance Class Operettas in there, so that's something. Is that three dance class? What the hell? Okay, no, that one's a diner operetta. I have two diner operettas. Why do I have two diner operettas? The fuck? When did I get the second one? I have Fright's camera action operetta up here somewhere. She's in her box. Yeah, there she is, but I can't really reach her because I'm short. You guys get the point, though. The blue is just kind of sudden and something they never did with her makeup before, so even if it's a thing from the 50s, I'm just not a fan of it. Her screening in general looks off too. A lot of people have like cried G2 when it comes to this face, but I'm not really seeing G2. I don't know, G2 was a lot worse than this. She's cute. I like the giant curl bangs. I like that her pet Memphis long legs is up there. That's his name, right? I don't fucking know. She's got these cute hoops. And something I saw somebody do that was really cute, it was um, girlies and ghouls on Instagram was uh, somebody added Tiffany's little um, shrug, her little, um, what the fuck was that thing called? Her little like coat, that little ugly thing she came with, they put it on her and it actually works on her. It was cute. Also, these are apparently socks, not full on leggings. I saw somebody who had the doll show that off. Another thing that kind of sticks out to me as odd is like, I feel like her face and her body are different shades of purple. I don't know. I tilted the camera so you guys could see it without the lens, like without the camera here reflecting off of her. I really feel like her body and her face are different colors. And this is how, that's how all of them look. I don't know. But yeah, all things considered, I do feel like she's a very solid doll, especially for being a $50 fan club doll. I think they did a lot with her. For at the $50 price point. I really like her dress. A lot of people did complain about the like prints on it and to an extent I get that, but I don't mind it. Like me personally, I don't mind it. And I do like the pencil skirt silhouette for her. It makes sense, it's a 1950s thing. I actually like how much they leaned into the 50s except for the makeup, I still fucking hate that. <laughs> Sorry, but um, I like her guitar bag. I like her shoes, like they're simple. It's definitely a very simple idea with the music note heel, but it's cute enough, you know? Overall, for 50 bucks, this is pretty solid, kind of like Stitched in Style Frankie, but I think I still like Stitched in Style Frankie a bit more. And of course, Gulia. Last year, Fang Vote Gulia. Fang Club Gulia, fuck, sorry. Fang Club Gulia was really good. She had fabric shoes, a gorgeous design. It was a great return for her. But I feel like this doll just kind of ended up falling a bit. Flat. I think if she had a better face, people would have liked her more. I don't think the doll falls flat. I meant to say, like, the community thinks that she fell flat. Me, personally, I like her. But the face, I would say, is the main thing holding her back. Because she just doesn't look like Operetta. You know? 
Like something in the face looks off. And it's it's like very apparent in person. Here, let's get this random diner operetta out here for comparison. Their faces are totally different. Like something about the structure of operetta's face, I feel like changed fundamentally between these dolls. Both the way her, like her, the way her eyes are painted is also a big change. She's got like a guitar pick shape in them. I think that's just because that's how G3 does eyes. And it does seem like they're trying to mimic or sort of combine the style of G1's eyes with G3. Like, um, think what Midnight Frankie's eyes look like. It looks very similar to G3. It looks similar to G3 Frankie. Did I cut that part off? I don't know. I, my camera glitched. But yeah, I feel like that's the main thing, making them look different. Also the lip shape. Operetta has a much larger top lip. Like, it's bigger. But here, her top lip looks kind of smaller. It's not as wide. Is that a way to describe lips? I don't fucking know, but do you see what I mean? You see what I mean. But yeah, like tomorrow or maybe Friday or something, you guys can expect a review of this doll. Maybe not tomorrow, I have to go to Cracker Barrel with my grandma. She really likes to get the turkey dinner. But yeah, that's everything I got today. The sun is right in my eyes. From where I'm sitting, it's like right in my eyes. Do you see that? I'm using the camera to block it. Oh, it's not nearly as bad on camera. I think I got this doll at the flea market. Yeah, yeah, I got her at the flea market before I bought my complete one. Okay, that's why I've got two of her. She's cute, actually. I like her in this dress. I feel like this dress kind of has some similarities to the new doll. Not at all. But yeah, um, I don't know if this video is done. Oh yeah, we reached 10 minutes a long time ago. This is done. Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if not, leave a hate comment. Hate on me. Be mean to me. Don't actually. I will cry. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to see a review of Out of Fright Operetta, or which one has the smudge? You. If you want to see one of these reviews, let me know. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!